The companions went to their commander. He got angry at them and asked, What are you all doing here? They answered, Our presence and the numbers we have is not because we want to oppress someone. It is because we want to help each other, have patience, and we want to assist each other. We are here in solidarity. Just as when people gather when someone is in mourning, they are not there to prevent death. They are there to show their love and support and to help the person in mourning. To make him feel better and to keep fear away from him. Open this door! Sir, I was not involved in any such thing. I hate being involved in such despicable and appalling and bitter and stupid actions. Sir, you know as well as me, and so does Bahadine Valad know. And I do not deny that I am completely against him, and it stems from his interference in how the city is governed. But still, I am your head judge, and I was appointed by Sultan Muhammad Khorazim himself, and I was in absolutely no way involved in anything that he says happened last night. There must be some good behind what's happened. Anyhow, the great pain that you have suffered, O oh Sultan of Scholars, I share your grief and your pain. But I'm sure there was some wisdom for it. I don't think that you paid attention to what I was saying, sir. What I've been saying from the beginning is the injustice and cruelty that the people have suffered throughout history has gotten worse. From one sultan to the next, it just gets worse every time. It is the story of a river of blood which flows from the wounds of these common people. What am I to myself? What is my pain going to solve? This sheik of yours is turning the words against me so that he can belittle my words to make the suffering of the people something they brought upon themselves. I meant no disrespect, sir, but this cannot be ignored. This Bayadeen Valad deserves to be punished for what he just said. He called the great sultan an unjust ruler, and that is completely unacceptable. Shh. Uh, I have a lot of experience, O sultan of scholars. This drum of justice that you are beating on and you're preaching to the people against the sultan is unfortunately nothing but this. It's been a while since you have lost the great turban you once had, and the income that you once had has also decreased a lot. Your words are no longer cherished by the people. The same people who have always treated your words as gold in the past. Calm down, Sheikh Kamal Please try not to be disrespectful. I would like to ask Sheikh Kamal to leave me alone with the Sultan of Scholars for a few moments, please. <sighs> be upset with the things he says. I am sad to hear, and I am truly hurt and upset 
about what has happened to your family. But please, Mahavalad, I am begging you, be careful and do not welcome a standoff with this deceitful fox of a man. He has no faith in his heart, aside from faith in position and power. I will not hide it from you. Not even I am safe from that man, and neither are you. Your life is in danger, too. Bahavalad, throughout all these years, I have always known what you say when you preach. I cannot hide it from you. I cannot hide it. Your words would resonate with me and excite me. It was as if they were my own words. It was as... as if I was hearing all of my own unspoken wishes, but they were coming out of your mouth. Still a very young man from a faraway village in Kiev. I started to serve the sultans with the intention of serving mankind. Half of my precious life I spent at war, and the other half within the walls of the palaces and the citadels. And this is how the sultans granted power to Zakhar Zakaria but also at the same time surrounding him. And this meant that I never had the chance to look into a common man's eyes, the same ones that I left my home to serve. And now, I am afraid for me it's too late for any kind of meeting with him. Bahavalad, you have scattered your seeds in this land wide and far, and I truly believe that the time for you to reap what you have sown is very near. But listen to what I'm telling you. Pack up your things now. Take your people and go to another land and awake the others that are still asleep. And I know that there are still many that are asleep across this land. Be very wary of Kamal Eddin. He is an evil man. I have... I have always loved you dearly in my heart. And I will, till the last breath I take, 